In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to start your own online business course. We're gonna walk through three key pillars that you need, with the first one being, what are the tools that you need to actually grow and automate your online business. Then number two is creating your proprietary solutions or frameworks on how you deliver results to those that you serve. Then number three is things that oftentimes most others tend to leave out, but you technically need them. And, and some of them are some legality things, plus just some general safety stuff that doesn't get talked about, but definitely important when it comes to knowing what you need to start your own online business course. Plus stay to the end. And I'm actually going to show you how you can actually get started fast and for free. My name is Andy Griffith. I'm at the co-founder of Movement Formula, your all-in-one business coaching system. So the first thing when it comes to learning how to start your own online business course is there's actually a core set of tools that you must have. You may have heard of some of these, some of these you may not. Sometimes people say a website, but oftentimes you can also talk about things like sales funnels and funnels. They operate very similar to websites, but think of it like cars. One's an automatic, one is manual. Funnels have actually been proven to have about a six times better conversion rate than websites. And then you're also gonna need a membership area to house your online courses in, right? Just when they make a transaction online, they buy from you, where is the course at for them to get access to it? And then also, depending what your levels of service are, you're probably gonna to wanna to look at having something like a booking calendar. So if someone wants to book one-on-one -on -one time with you as the expert in your business, or even just have quote business meetings with you to talk about potential ventures or opportunities, having a booking calendar in place where you can send people a link that they can use to log on and see when you're available without you having to do a whole lot of back and forth. It really revolutionizes how you run and how you operate your online business. Plus, let's not forget email marketing. Very core, important thing to have. When someone makes a purchase, they get emails congratulating them for their investment in themselves for the purchase they made, telling them how to get onboarded to your solutions and services, maybe giving them some quick tips and things like, I call them like housekeeping, like keep in mind for this and that. Um, so that way they're successful because your job as an online business coach is not just to make a sale, it's to deliver results in the lives of those that you serve and your onboarding email sequence when they make a purchase can really help leverage the impact and power your solutions can provide by walking people through how to use what it is that you've sold to them over the next few days once they've made their purchase. But having the tools, it actually isn't enough. It's knowing how to use them, right? Just because you have it doesn't mean you necessarily know how to use it. And oftentimes people make it look very, quote, easy, but easy and simple are two different things. Um, they're simple to use, but sometimes you might go through a learning curve. So don't, don't ever confuse easy and simple ever again, right? Something might be easy, but it's easy to do, easy not to do. Something might be simple, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's quote unquote easy. So I'm just curious, do you currently use any of those tools? Do you have a sales funnel, booking calendar, email marketing in place for your business? If so, drop a message in the comments. I'd like to know if you might have all of them, you might have part of them, or are you exploring the idea of having your own online business and just taking like, if you're like me, you've got pen and paper, usually next to your computer. I've got my little notepad here. Um, or you're taking notes throughout the day with what it is you're learning. Because I personally, I spent years online trying to figure out what does and does not work. And we now at Movement Formula, we actually have an all-in-one business coaching system that does everything I just talked about plus so much more. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about that later on in the video. Now, the second thing that you're going to need for starting your own online business course is you need to develop your core proprietary framework and solutions. You know, what is that secret sauce that you deliver to people? What's proprietary to you, right? Um, what makes it special? What makes it unique? Do you have a unique way that you provide your solutions that's slightly different from other people? And how you can do that essentially is map out what it is that you do, right? Like here's, here's the goal. Here's where their starting point. What are the steps along the way? What are the milestones? Like how do you take someone from what like we like to do is from A to Z, right? How do we take someone like in our business at Movement Formula from idea to online? What is your business where you take someone from where they're at, from where they want to be? Because that's going to help you better understand knowing how you serve them. And then as you talk to people, you have a proprietary framework because you know what the pillars are, what the milestones are to get them from where they are, from where they're supposed to be. And what's, what's interesting is don't worry about the idea of having it perfect out the gate. 
because guess what? Your systems are gonna change over time. Your processes will change over time because innovation, technology, and your just general understanding of what it is that you do and feedback you get from those that you serve is gonna to start to make, make, add micro adjustments to how you do what it is that you do. It's just about getting a baseline in place and then you call it your proprietary framework, like give it a proprietary name. Um, like for example, uh, in one of our free online trainings that we actually give for all of our Movement Formula users in the Impact Accelerator is uh, it takes them over a course and series of steps from how to get started with the platform to having everything up and running and online where they can watch video series step by step, but it's a framework, right? And we call it the Impact Accelerator because it accelerates the impact people can make using our system, right? So what is your framework do you currently have in place? What are those processes that you serve? Do you actually have that in place? Please let us know in the comments. I'm kind of curious if you've taken the time to actually kind of map out what is your process? What does it look like so you know where someone might already be within that system? Or when you meet with them, you can actually explain like, hey, we're gonna take you from here to here to here over the next X weeks. And then you're gonna get the results that you're looking for. That gives you a stance of confidence and it takes a lot of guesswork out later on on once a sale's made, how are you gonna deliver your solution to them? And now for number three, let's talk about the things that others usually don't really mention too often when they're talking about starting an online business. But these things are very, very important. Um, and I don't, I'm not gonna go over them to quote unquote scare you, it's to inform you. First off, very basic, a domain address, a URL, a website address. That's how people find you. How I often like to explain it, it's like, you know your phone has a, um, a phone number attached to it. People punch in the number and it calls a phone. What's the website address? You at what domain.com? Like what is your domain.com that people go into or type in, right, like a phone number to find you? You definitely need one of those so it's branded, right? That's part of your brand, it's part of your online Digital real estate, a domain address is like digital real estate. And the bigger your brand grows, the more valuable that domain name will become. Secondly, kind of following that is a branded email address. So once you have a domain in place, how is it that you are sending out emails? Are you using, currently do you use like you at gmail.com? Most people you see that, you'll see it on their business cards, you'll see that they're, they're still using just an at gmail. Though it does work, Talk about positioning, you at yourdomain.com looks a lot more professional. You can actually get that at Google. It's like a Google Workspace. It used to be called, I think, Google Drive. They, they, they've tweaked their name recently, but I believe it's Google Workspace now. Is our G Suite is, uh, it's like six bucks a month. Um, and you can get a branded email account plus many other bells and whistles like more online storage um, or they have like a business plan that is I believe $12 a month right now as well that does some other cool features that's more than just email but it gives you that branded email so you have that branded positioning of a professional in your space. Very low introductory cost just to help separate yourself from the masses plus it still logs into Gmail just like a Gmail address. You just have that polished look when you're sending communications out to people. Also, you need a branded email for email marketing. You can't send out hundreds of emails from an at Gmail account with email marketing. You have to have a branded email in place. So you might as well take a look at that when you get your domain, getting a branded email address using like what we personally use, whether you call it G Suite, Google, well not Google Drive, that's online storage, uh, Google Workspace, I believe now is what they call it. They've got a $6 plan at the time of this video and a $12 plan. Now the next couple of things, very important. It's gonna protect you from the crazies and protect you le legally, okay? Email marketing, you've gotta have a PO box or an address at the bottom of your emails. Um, some sort of physical address, and I'm not a lawyer, so obviously, what's, what's the disclaimer? You should seek legal counsel outside of this, but essentially, you have to have an address, according to C-SPAN laws, in the bottom of your emails. Personally, we use, um, we've used a U UPS, because it uses a suite, so it's not a PO box, it's actually a suite, so it has a real street address. But you can buy that from a US, or a UPS provider. There's other online companies that even give you like digital addresses as well, where they can like scan your stuff and you know show you what quote unquote mail you got. But it's just part of C spam laws with email marketing. You've got to have that in place. But you don't want to give your home address out to a bunch of people, do you? I mean, I, I, you know, there's crazies out there. So that adds a layer of protection where the crazies can't come to your house. And then the next thing is getting an LLC for your business. Depending on what state you're in, it's probably going to cost 100, 150 bucks. Um, I, I don't know all 50 states fees, but usually right around that range to create um, an LLC for your business. And the reason you want to do that, you want to start to separate yourself. One, 
because then you can get a business bank account. So when you're making sales, those funds go into a business bank account. But two, your finances and taxes, your business revenue versus personal revenue is not getting mixed up because then you can do things like buy business expenses, right? Where you buy a computer with your business money. It's a business expense. You buy, um, I'm talking to you on a webcam I bought for my computer. That, that is a business expense. So instead of being a personal expense, my business bought that for me. So my business profits maybe aren't as big because I've made investments in equipment to run and operate my business. The services, solutions, and tools you use can now be used as business expenses for running your business. So it's just a way of leveraging and giving you positioning. Plus, it protects you. You know, and it, what is it? Um, anyone can sue anyone for any reason. They don't have to be right or wrong. But if they're doing business with your LLC, you represent, it's not you, it's your LLC when they make a transaction. You're adding just a barrier of protection between you and them. So it's not you, the individual, it's your LLC that you represent. Okay, and again, I'm not a quote unquote a lawyer, but these are things you want to look at having in place. Now, it doesn't mean you necessarily like have to have everything in the beginning this is not legal advice this is just not to intimidate for people to not get started right um and i'm curious as i talk about this do you have these in place do you have a current website address in place branded email and a p.o box or a suite or um an llc in place but where, where i'm going with that is um getting started I didn't necessarily have every, every single one of these in place in the very, very beginning, right? But over time, as I started to generate revenue and cash flow, first couple hundred bucks I made in profits, I need to go get an LLC created, right? I start having consistent money coming in. I need to make sure that I have a branded email address. I have a branded um, a PO box or suite for my email marketing. So as your business grows, you need to make sure you take the time to invest in these things because you're talking about an LLC, like again, a hundred bucks. In Oklahoma, it was a hundred bucks to set up and then $25 a year. G Suite, six bucks a month. Um, a PO box or, or suite from UPS store, I think it was like 10 bucks a month. So these aren't astronomical fees. A website domain is like $10 a year. These are just micro investments to making your business more professional, but protecting you from the crazies of them having your home address and for the potential should someone ever want to quote unquote, have a lawsuit against you. Again, they don't have to be right or wrong. They just have to file paperwork, right? Um, it just creates a barrier between you and what your business is doing by having that LLC in place. Now, earlier I actually talked about a way that you can get started fast and for free. So consider this your bonus invite. Um, at Movement Formula right now, you can start for absolutely free. And with that, you can actually get unlimited funnels to sell online. You can get unlimited contacts to start growing that fan base of yours. Unlimited booking calendar so you can have that professional like book a session on my calendar slot with me so people can book sessions with you and then unlimited online courses so you can actually deliver your content 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year by putting content in a membership course area, they can get access to all your training on their time. It's not one-on-one -on -one time, it's one to many. It can maximize your impact and maximize the amount of people because you can only serve one person at a time, right? Or only so many at a time versus having an online course and content and members area, they can do business with you on their time, right? Um, and all this is available. You can get started for absolutely free right now when you join Movement Formula's all-in-one business coaching platform. It's at movementformula.com. Again, movementformula.com. There should be a link down in the descriptions. Now, if you could do a real quick favor for me is if you've gotten any value from this video, take a moment, Share what that big aha was. What was some value that you're like, hey, that was a really cool insight. Drop that in the comments below. I would like to know your biggest takeaway from this video. Secondly, drop a like. That lets us know that this video, you know, th who doesn't like a thumbs up, a good job. Um, drop a like. Let us know that this video delivered value to you. And third, make sure to click the subscribe button because we've got a whole library of videos that we've already put out. We've got a lot more videos in the queue coming out. And by subscribing, you're not going to miss any future videos that we release on this channel so that we at Movement Formula can continue to keep delivering value to you on this platform.